It's time for a high school basketball game night. Now here's your play-by-play -play announcers for tonight's game. Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to another night of round ball action here on your local origination channel. Bobby Price, Mick Kirkland, and Art Variel with you tonight. And, uh, Mitt, we just got through watching a double overtime win by the Dothan Tiger uh, B team boys. Uh, so this one here ought to be a barn burner with uh, the Lady Tigers 7-0 and uh, Eufaula coming in here 2-6. and six. Well, you know, Bobby, uh, both of these teams have traditionally had really good basketball programs, especially girls' programs. Uh, and uh, I don't expect any different tonight. Dothan has uh, been playing really good this year. And you've all struggled a little. But that time, number three for you, Faller, went right to the basket, down to White, and she was fouled. And that foul is called on Brittany Walker. All right, uh, at the line is number three, Dynasty White. She eyes the basket, puts it up, and it falls away. No good. And Dothan wants a timeout, Bobby. And uh, this, uh, we've only played nine seconds, and Dothan wants a timeout. Evidently, <laughs> coach, the coach saw something she didn't like and uh, wanted to talk to her, her troops about it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, coming in with a 7-0 record, and playing a team uh, two and six, I'm sure she does not want them to come out flat and uh, get, get things going. So we'll see what happens on this second free throw attempt coming from Dynasty White. She misses the first one, they're still scoreless. And nine seconds have elapsed in period number one. Good crowd on hand tonight for this. It really is, Bobby, and I imagine by the time the boys strike up, we'll have a much bigger crowd. She missed both of them. So White comes up she empty had a, on she had a lane violation. She stepped on the line. <clears throat> so the Lady Tigers bring it in. Okay, number two is in the game now. Whitney McLeod gets it to 23, and uh, she'll be the workhorse uh, in this one. But it goes to the red, the ladies in red, the Ufala Tigerettes, or the Lady Ufala Tigers, and the Lady Dothan Tigers. So definitely a Tiger is going to win this one tonight. Yes, the bell of the Tigers. And we, if it's any indication of the first battle, Bobby, this one's going to be a battle too. Coach uh, Stow is really on these girls about uh, when they mess up. <laughs> He's all over the place. I guess he's been around Coach Henry long enough to know. Dothan girls are doing a good job of passing the ball around, but they came up empty again, and it's going to be off Dothan. So let's see. They, the Lady Tigers from Eufaula will, will uh, toss it in. A minute. It's White's ball. They, they, they reversed it, Bobby. I thought it was I, off I of thought he called White. I, I thought he called White a while ago. Here's Score. the inbound toss. Up. Misses. Rebounded by Marquita um, Burton, number 34. No score in the game. We played about a minute and 10 seconds. Neither team has been able to connect. Uh, slow movement of uh, action here as uh, these ladies kind of spread the floor out a little bit. See if they can put, they get the defense to come to them. Number 22 looks to shoot, but uh, resist. Now out to number three, Dynasty White. And she just works the top of the key, gets it off to number 22 again. Miss Holloway, excuse me, that's Brown. And it still won't fall. So here come your Dothan Lady Tigers. And it's going to be off, off the uh, leg of number three for the Dothan Tigers, Sonova Walker.
And Dalton's committed two straight turnovers, Bob, but they've got to do a, a better job of handling the ball and protecting the ball. Carmilla Kirkland threw that one away. Intended pass uh, was uh, for Sonova Walker. Number 22 shoots, and she makes a three. So the first point of the game. So you follow takes a three nothing lead over the Lady Tigers of Dothan. Substitution into the game coming in is number 20, uh, Jasmine Tamlo. But last week at the Northview uh, Holiday Tournament, Bobby, uh, Jasmine put up 27 points for a Tiger victory over the Northview Lady Cougars. Dynasty White uh, with the ball. Seems to be able to uh, control the ball pretty well. Uh, almost a steal here, but uh, Eufaula holds on to it. Number 24, Holloway, still with the ball. And she dumps it off and then goes back out to number three, Dynasty White, and they'll set up this play. Dothan came out and formed a nice post there to stop that, that attempt to go inside. Dothan puts some uh, pressure defense and forced you follow to take a timeout. So with 5.02 left in the first to score as you follow three, Dothan nothing. All right, back in action here as uh, the you follow Tigers took a timeout as Dothan applied pressure. And uh, here we go with uh, Ufala getting across the midcourt section. And being guarded pretty close there, Dothan's doing man to man. All right, at this point, I should say lady to lady. And Tamlo comes in the, and she misses a layup, Bobby, which uh, she normally makes those. It's gonna be Dothan's ball, possession error in favor of the Tigers, Lady Tigers. Well, it was going to be the Lady Tigers ball regardless. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Because uh, both teams are Tigers and both are Lady Tigers. That's right. And it uh, looks like uh, Coach Stow asked for a quick timeout before uh, uh, every, things got messed up there. So uh, he's going to talk to his uh, five on the floor and tell them they got to get it together. And back on the Dothan end down here, they're doing the same thing. And, Bobby, something unusual here. We are almost halfway through the first period of play, and Dothan's yet to score. You fall as, as a three-pointer by Raven Brown, and those are the only points on the board for either team. All right, it'll be you fall a ball as they toss it in to number three. Dynasty takes it across midcourt. And they work a little uh, magic to the basket. Number 34 shoots, but uh, she is fouled. That foul's going to be on number 21, Carmela Kirkland. At the line is number 34, uh, Makita Burton. You fall as 0 of 2 from the line tonight. And that's the second team foul on the Dothan Lady Tigers. But uh, Ufala is uh, missing opportunities to put points up by missing these free throws. They're 0 for 3. 0 for 4. Very slow start for the Tigers tonight, the Lady Tigers of Dothan. Dorothea Jackson. They get it over the wall. She drives to the basket, and she tries to get it into Kirkland, and it's stolen uh, by Ufala. Double dribbled. So you follow turn it over to the Lady Tigers, and we're almost at the half point mark, Bobby, of the first period, and Dothan is yet to score. Charmaine with the ball. And she loses out of bounds. Right now, Dothan's just playing a little sluggish, Bobby. They all seem to be out of sync. Yeah. I think that's what the, the, the Dothan coach was worried about, them being flat. And but, so know, far, they are. In a situation like this, what you have to do is get your offense uh, going is you got to create something defensively, a steal, and get some points off a turnover. And 
and uh, get an easy basket. And that there time, is, that's exactly is. what they needed to do. And Ward misses a layup. We've seen Cantaloupe and Ward both miss wide open layups, Bobby, and they are normally very good at that. So she'll pick up her first foul. I, I don't know if they are not into the game tonight or what, but they are missing shots that they normally make. Here's the inbounds toss. And, you know, we were just talking about that's what Dothan needed is to force a turnover and try to get an easy basket off the turnover. That time they got the turnover but was unsuccessful in getting the points off. Here we go again. She that got that one. That time Ward was going to make sure that one went in. So they get another turnover, Bobby. That's three straight turnovers. Jump ball, and it's going to be Dothan's ball. Number two coming in for you follow. <laughs> I don't have a two on the list. But the thing is, Bobby, we, we talked about it. That time, Dothan forced three consecutive turnovers. Uh, and only got two points. And only out of got it. two points off of it. You're exactly right. So Charmaine with the ball. Going inside, the number one turnaround jumper shoots no good. The Lady Tigers come up with it in the hands of Dynasty White. Nice, nice jumper. Two point basket there for number 22. Raven Brown, she has all five of you fallers points. They're up five to two over the Lady Tigers of Dothan. Charmaine draws a foul. Foul called on number three, Dynasty White. Her first and the team's uh, first. Thir third. Is the team's third? First. First, okay. Yes. Ward pulls up for the jumper, banks it off the glass for two. So Ward has all four of Dothan's points. And Brown has uh, all of uh, Eufaula's points. And Mil uh, Dothan comes up with the steal. That was Cruz on the steal for the Lady Tigers of Dothan. In middle to J uh, Charmaine, she misses. Uh, dishes it off, and it's followed up and tapped in by number 21, Carmela Kirkland. That time, uh, Warren was able to get it down to Cantaloupe, who dished it off to Kirkland for two. So Dothan now takes the lead. Dothan right, followed by one. Dothan right now on a 6-0 uh, run. And another turnover. Here comes Ward. And it's out of bounds off of Yufala. So Charmaine will uh, toss it in. Cantaloupe loses it. Loose ball. Nothing's going to get it back. So Charmaine brings it across, gets it to 13. Cruz. Back over to Ward for a three. Too much. Rebounded by das Dynasty White. Number 22 shoots again, misses. A rebound by number two for uh, Eufaula, and she's fouled, will come to the line. Foul called on Camilla Kirkland, that's a second. Eufaula continues to struggle from the line, Bobby. Yeah. I don't have a number two down, right. do you? Nope. She makes that one. So it's a tie ball game with under uh, 50 seconds left in the first period. Charmaine to the basket. Dothan's just not doing a really good job of handling the ball, Bobby. They aren't. Maya Williams comes into the end of the game for Dothan. Kirkland goes out. You 
Ball gets it across uh, midline. Brown looks, drives, loses the ball. Goes to number one, it's Jackson. Can't get it. 12 goes in, puts it up, misses. That was uh, good Williams. St good strong put back that time by number 12, Maya Williams, and we'll see if they'll count it. Yep. Count it. Foul called on number 24. That's Holloway. So Williams can make a three-point play out of it if she makes this free throw. Williams up and in. So Maya Williams comes off the bench and put up three points for the Tigers. So Yubala calls Yubala. the third timeout of the period, Bobby. So this is a full timeout with a score nine to six. It's Dothan over you fall. All right, we're set to resume action here with 16 seconds left in this first period. It has been a sluggish start for both uh, both squads, but Dothan has uh, kind of turned it on a little bit with nine unanswered points, make it 11 with that uh, steal from Jackson. Oh, uh, Doretha Jackson did a really good job of picking that one off and putting it up. Ward picks it off, puts it up, and in for two. So that makes it 13. And, Bobby, we talked earlier about how Dothan would take advantage of the turnovers, and um, now they are taking advantage of the turnovers. They put up six straight points off turnovers. So Raven Brown commits that foul, so Ward's at the line to shoot her first free throw. It's up, and it's good. At seven points for Ward here in the first period. Dothan goes up 14 to six, and that's going to end the first period. Yep. So, so at the end of one, the score is Dothan 14, you follow six. All right, here's the toss in to start period number two. It goes to the ladies in red from Eufaula. She drives a lane and a steal from number 20. Knocks it away, fast break for Dothan. Number two uh, lost it for the Lady Tigers, McLeod, but uh, the Eufaula Tigers recovered and here we go. Up and no good, and we get another jump ball. Possession error favors the Lady Tigers of Dothan, so Ward is down. She's a little slow getting up. Hurt, it looked like she hurt that knee again. She's moving a little slow coming off the court. So 15 comes in. For her, and that's uh, Haley Dick with a 14 6 lead, 7 28 left here in the first half of play. Dothan uh, finally seeming to get uncranked with, uh, with their uh, high octane uh, offense, but uh, Bobby, they turn over there. They've uh, committed quite way too many turnovers tonight. You know, Dothan's normally a good protected team. They protect the ball very well, but tonight they haven't done a very good job of handling the ball. Foul's going to be called on Jasmine Cantaloupe. That'll be her first. So at the line will be uh, number 24, Holloway. They're one of five from the line tonight, Bobby. Not, they're not, uh, you follow us not doing a very good job from the free throw line. All right, you missed the first. Here comes the second. 14 to six is our score. It will not fall, but you follow gets a rebound. She gets a second attempt, and uh, all the way 
puts that one in. So she missed two, then made the two-point basket. Foul's going to be called on, foul's called on number 24. Holloway, that'll be her second. All right, Dothan with the inbound toss. Haley Dick with the ball. Now to McLeod, along in the corner to uh, Jackson. And uh, the ball is taken away by Taken away from her. That was Carter taking it away from the Dothan Tigers. Good hands that time by Jackson, Bobby, knocking that one out of bounds. So here comes you follow with the inbounds toss once again. Number three shoots a long one, no good. That's Maya Williams with the rebound for the Lady Tigers of Dothan. Williams with another rebound. And Dothan's not doing a very good job of handling the ball, Bobby. Offensive foul. They need to slow it down. What happened that time? That was uh, McLaurin got the ball, and she tried to take it down instead of pulling it back out. And uh, they call it for the offensive foul. Okay, we got a whole new five coming in. Charmaine's back in, along with Jasmine Cruz, Brittany Walker, and Carmella Kirkland. Dothan up by 6, 14 to 8. They are yet to score in the period, Bobby. They were slow starting in the first period, and uh, they're a little slow starting here in the second. Three-second lane violation. So the Eufaula Tigers turn it back over to the Dothan Tigers. So Charmaine brings it uh, across midcourt right now. Oh, the Eufaula Tigers come up with the rebound. Oh. And they turn it over. That's two straight turnovers for the Eufaula Tigers. 5-19 left in the first half of play. We're 14-8. So about three minutes has elapsed here, and uh, the only team to score is Eufaula with two points. Kirkland goes up high for that rebound, and Ward gets it, puts it up off the glass, misses, but uh, they get the rebound. Knocked away by Carter. Good hands by Carter that time. The ladies getting, in red. Getting in the passing lane and knocking that one out of bounds. All right, here comes McElroy in, number 11, for you follow. So, uh, Charmaine will come back to the line. Well, they're not in the bonus yet. Foul call on number 11, Kiara McElroy. That's her first. Driving the baseline. Number two that draws the foul. So White picks up her second. At the line for Dothan is number two, Whitney McLeod. Whitney puts it up and in. Dothan's three of three from the line tonight. So we got one more attempt coming here with a 15 to eight total. The ladies in white. 
Makes them both. Dolphins in a full court press. They're going to see if they can force a turnover. But you Paula was able to break the press. Rebounded by uh, Brittany Walker, Charmaine Ward with it. She takes it, puts it up, and Ooh. and she goes down on her knee, and she's hurt again. That's Ward's second time going down tonight, and this looks a little more serious than the first time. Bobby, I hope it's not. Yeah, I know it. It's, uh, you know, any, any injury at uh, any point in time of a, of a game is, is uh, you know, it's, it's tragic, but it's one of those things that uh, does take place in, uh, in this game. You know, we talk about how, foot, how tough football is, but, you know, you're falling on, uh, you're falling on turf. But uh, when you, when you uh, and, the, and, you know, that grass will give a little bit, but uh, the hardwood, it, it shows no, no remorse. It, it's going to get a knee any time. So Ward is still down with 411 left in the second period. Dothan on top, 16 to 8. Zoom action here after the injury to Charmaine Ward. Uh, really noticeable limp, not be able to put a whole lot of pressure on that, uh, on her right leg as and she was carried off the, uh, eased off the floor slowly. And, Bobby, they took it to the dressing room. So, uh, you know, we hope it's not a, a serious injury. But she was a little slow getting up, and um, we hope she's going to be okay. Number 22 with the ball. Brown trying to get something going and almost hemmed up over there. <clears throat> so a foul on Dothan. So that's against uh, Cruz, her first. At the line is number three, Dynasty White. She's over two <laughs> from the line. And as a team, you follow is they're one of one of where they're three, one of seven. Yeah. I believe. Make it one of eight. So here come the Lady Tigers. Jackson brings it across, gets it to McLeod. Back over to Jackson if she can get it. So another Dothan Lady Tiger turnover. And probably they have turned it over more in this game than I probably have ever seen them turn it over. Inbounds toss. Cruz uh, picks up the loose ball and drives to the basket, and she's fouled by number 11 for Eufaula, McElroy, her second. At the line is number 13, Jasmine Cruz. So the fouls are all knotted at seven apiece. The score is 16 to eight. Dothan on the, uh, the top of the scoring. Misses the first. Couple of subs coming in. Another free throw coming for Cruz. She missed the first, so here's the second of the two shot foul. Up and in, it's good. So Cruz makes one of two. So it's a 17 to eight Dothan lead. Dothan steals it, and that's number two, McLeod with the basket on the turnover. 19 to eight. Fast break toward the basket. It goes out of bounds off Dothan, so you follow will maintain possession. So here comes you follow to toss it in. Turn around jumper from number one is short. Saved. Nope. Te foot stepped on the line. So Dothan turns it over. 
Ufala turns it over to Dothan. 2.56 and counting for the first half. Dothan working uh, wide open on the basket was number 20. Uh, Cantaloupe, but she couldn't put it in. Standing a little bit too close to the basket. Travel. Good pressure defense that time by Doretha Jackson forcing the turnover. So Jackson uh, comes over to toss it in. Asks for the break and the toss in to number two, McLeod. And 21 comes up with a loose ball. And, and Ufala steals it. 22 gets a uh, rebound, puts it in. As Raven Brown, she has seven points for the Lady Ufala Tigers. The Dothan Tigers miss, and Ufala gets the rebound. 22 shoots, misses. Rebound for Dothan. Jackson on the fast break to 13 in and count it. That was a nice feed that time coming from Jackson over to uh, Jasmine Cruz for her first field goal of the game. And another Dothan turnover. Jackson at the basket. Up and in. So Jackson's uh, been on the, involved in two big plays for the Tigers. She had an assist on the previous play and came up with the basket on the steal that time. Man at 35, it's 23-10, Dothan on top. Holloway with the ball. Gives it to Mills, who shoots short. And Ufala comes up with the big rebound. So Raven Brown decides to uh, get a breather for a second. Here comes 24, driving a basket, puts it up, too much. Rebound by number one is too much. Well, you ball is doing a good job of rebounding on the offensive boards. So the foul is going to go against Dothan, I believe number 21, which will be Kirkland. Yeah. That will be her third. Yep. Unofficially. Dothan up by 13. 23 to 10 with just under one minute left in the first half. Maya Williams, Brittany Walker, and uh, Haley Dick coming back into the game. 59.3 seconds left in the half. Misses. Big rebound for the Lady Tigers. Haley Dick gets the ball. Jackson at the top of the key. Inside to number 12. Williams misses, foul on the arm, so. Brittany Walker's going to the line. Marquita Burden picks up uh, a foul. So at the line is number four, Brittany Walker. And she banks it off the glass for the first free throw. It's Walker's first point of the game. Putting the second one up. Nice touch. Dothan's done a much better job than Eufaula from the foul line, by, but they've only missed one tonight. Oh. All right, 35.3 seconds. Dothan will bring it in. Haley gets it across midcourt. Gets it out to Jasmine Cruz. Jackson in the corner, short. Rebound by the Ufala Tigers. Fast break is number two. Up and in. That was a really nice drive that time by... Cruz, Bobby. Yeah, that's it's very nice. Point, yeah. Good move. Reaching over the charge. One and one for Dothan.
Think it's going on the other end, Bobby. It's called on number four, Brittany Walker. Yeah. Her second. We'll try to have a report on Charmaine Ward's condition at beginning of the third. Dothan wants a timeout with 2.1 seconds left, and, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> that's some time to call a timeout, huh, Bobby? Yep. <laughs> 25 to 12. It started off extremely sluggish. At the end of one, it was 14 to 6. So uh, both teams have done a little bit better here, but uh, Dothan's beginning to walk away. And, you know, it's, it's been an unusual night for the Lady Tigers of Dothan. They have committed way too many turnovers. We're, they are normally a very good ball handling team, but they have just not done a very good job of handling the ball. If they had, uh, uh, they would be ahead by a whole lot uh, more points. So Mills at the line to shoot. And misses. And that brings us to the end of the first half of play. Uh, so we will uh, take a pause and come back at the beginning of the third quarter for you. Right now, the half is 25 for the Dothan Tigers and 12 for the Ufala Tigers. Any comments, Mitt, before we... Uh, no, we'll, uh, we'll try to, like I said, check on Charmaine Ward's condition before uh, we get back within the second half.
All right, here goes the inbounds toss to the final uh, eight minutes of this contest. Dothan with an 18-point lead, 41-23. Ward with the ball, gets it to number two. Back to Ward again. Oh, not trying to go in under the basket and knocked away by Destiny White. She's fast breaking the basket. Foul's going to be called on number four. Brittany, her fourth. So Dothan has committed four fouls here in the second half and five fouls for Eufaula. Jasmine Cantaloupe back into the game for the Lady Tigers. She has four points. Holloway gets it back out to White. And now it's over to Brown. Back to uh, 24 again. That's Holloway. And then Brown tries to get it in and won't go. So here comes Charmaine on the fast break. Easy. Oh, she tried to get in too big a hurry. She was a little too far to the basket, Bobby, it looked like. Jackson gets a steal. Gets it over to Williams. Still won't fall. It's going to be out of bounds off you fall. Dothan got a couple of good shots at the basket that time, but neither one of them would fall for him. 6.55 left, 41-23. Charmaine with the ball. Gets it over to Whitney McCloyd. To Jackson. I back out to Charmaine and wide open under the basket was number 12. Maya Williams and they missed a couple of easy baskets. Uh, here on the last couple of possessions. So 21, uh, Camilla Kirkland comes in. She's got four fouls, so. And Williams comes out with three points. White with the ball. They get it across uh, midcourt fairly easily. Back to White. Holloway, and now number one with the ball, Carter. Trying to put it up and just don't have the strength. And here comes Charmaine Ward on the fast break. Cutting down the middle lane, driving the basket. Dishes it off to number two, who misses. And 21 comes back and puts it in. That's Kirkland. Carmela Kirkland with her second field goal of the game. Jackson comes up with the steal, but loses it back to you, Paula. And Ward comes behind and picks a pocket. Oh, a reach-in foul by Brown. That's her third. They're going to... Okay. So it will be Dothan's ball when play resumes. So Dorothea Jackson... Tosses in to Charmaine Ward. Jackson has uh, 14 points in the game, Bobby. 10 coming here in the second and, half. Oh, nice to Jackson. Wouldn't fall for. And traveling is the call against uh, number 20 for Dothan, uh, Jasmine Cantlope. So it goes over to Ufala. <laughs> so Eufaula turns it over to the Lady Tigers of Dothan. So here we go with uh, two, five, 23 left. It's a 20-point Dothan Tiger lead, 43-23. Ward dumps it off to number 21 up and in for uh, Camilla Kirkland, six points. Kirkland said a couple of baskets in a row for the Lady Tigers of Dothan. Oh, I don't think she was quite ready for that one. I don't Bobby. think she was either. Short, loose ball. 
Boy, that's a battle on the, that's a battle in the lane for that ball, Bobby. <laughs> they were going for it. And Dothan uh, comes up with it after a traveling call is called against Eufaula. Down to 447 left in the fourth. Dothan on top by 22, 45 to 23. All right, here we come across midcourt. Inside to Ward. Turn around jumper. Put it in. Ward's first basket of the second half. Uh, she was injured uh, in this first half, and she has a total of nine points. Kirkland gets the rebound. And uh, there's a foul on the play. So Dothan's in the bonus. That's her fourth for Brown. At the line for Dothan is number two, Whitney McLord. She's two of two from the line with a total of four points. All right, a couple of uh, subs coming in for you, Paula. Uh, number three and 34. Uh, Dynasty White just uh, sat down for a few minutes, as did uh, Burden, and they're back out on the court now. Here's the free throw attempt from number two. And we get a, another foul. As Whitney missed her free throw, now Jackson will come to the line. It's a two-shot foul. She's uh, pretty good in the line tonight, Mitch. She's, uh, well, she's 50%. Two for four. Three for five. 15 points. So uh, Whitney McLeod sits down as number 13 comes back in. Uh, Jasmine Cruz. Jackson's got another free throw coming with 4.16 left. It's now 48-23. Short. Rebounded by Eufaula. Right, as they work it around, a lot of ball movement. They, it, it's, and, and here comes Charmaine, wide open now, but unselfishly gives the basket to uh, Dartia Jackson. That was a, a great assist coming that time for Charmaine Ward. She could have very easily, Bobby, taken it in herself for the, for the basket, but she, she plays team ball. She gives it up and gives it to one of her teammates for the basket. Fouls call on Ward, her third. Yep. At the line, it's number three, Dynasty White. She is one of four, one of five from the line. Make it one of six. Cantaloupe out of the game, and Maya Williams back in. So uh, White tries this free throw, and she makes the second one. 325, it's 50-24. Wide open on the basket then was number 21, Kirkland. They call a jump ball. And it's going to be Eufaula's ball. Traveling called, so they turn it over to the Dothan Lady Tigers. Just over three minutes left in the fourth. All right, Dothan will uh, toss this in. Charmaine 
looking for someone to throw it to. And she gets it to Kirkland. Now it's in the hands of uh, Jackson. Now Cruz driving a basket. So uh, she'll get to come to the line. Number two red. That's her second. That's Cruz. Cruz is uh, one of two from the line. She has a total of five points. Yeah, the foul was on Cruz as in Tom Cruz. Uh, Jasmine Cruz is the free throw line and she makes that first one. So she's two for three from the line with a total of six points tonight. Two forty-eight remaining, 51-24. Short. And Ward gets Ward the rebound. Gets the rebound. <laughs> okay, uh, here comes the inbounds toss from uh, Ufala. They open up fifty one to twenty four. Oh, backcourt. Another one of those uh, mistakes. Inbounds from Cruz, Cruz to Jackson. Back to Cruz. Now Jackson's going to go at it again. Charmaine Ward. And, and you know when she goes, she's going to go. <laughs> Ward attacks the basket and she's fouled, so she's going to the line. Three. Ward is one of one for, from the line. She has a total, total of nine points. That's a fourth foul on Dynasty White. Missed. Has another shot coming. 214 left. It's 51-24. Missed that one. And that's very and, unusual and for she, Ward. And she reaches in and commits her fourth foul. And, Bobby, one thing about her last year, she shot uh, over 80% from the free throw line last year. Mm. Out of, uh, I think she had over 180 attempts and shot, uh, I'm thinking somewhere around 82%. Loose ball on the floor. Ufala comes up with it. That's going to do it for, well, that's number three. I think yep. that's going to do it for her, Bobby. Yep. Yeah, it's five. And Dynasty White goes out with uh, four points. So Sharon Mills comes in. Men at 54 left. So it's a non shooting foul. I thought they were in the bonus. Well, you would think so with uh, 10 fouls committed. That'll be a two shot foul. Yes, uh, Ward's going to the line. Down to a minute 54 seconds left. She missed the uh, last two attempts. She's one of three from the foul line. Charmaine's first one is up. It's good. She they give more at 10 points. She makes both of those. Yep. 11 points for Charmaine Ward. This is a 53 to 24 lead. Ward knocks it out of bounds. Tell you what, Mitt, when, when she goes home at night, I'm sure she goes <laughs> to bed pretty quick. Because she's got to be wore out. She, she makes me tired just me looking at her. Jackson gets the inbounds toss but loses it. Block shot. 
Now here goes number 13, Cruz, to the basket. And up and in. That's uh, eight points for Cruz. You fall is still working away at it. 13 gets two points. Sharon Mills, that was a nice drive to the basket by Mills. They'll probably just try to run the clock out, Bobby. Ward normally puts on a uh, ball handling clinic the last minute of the game. But they call it for back court. I'm not quite sure that ball got away from it, but I don't think it went back well, he court. Was, he was right there at it, so 46.7 seconds left, 55-26. And that, that number 13 again? 13 yep. again, yes. Sharon Mills puts in a, another basket. That's two quick ones for her. She has a total of four points all coming here in the second half. So Charmaine just looking to milk the clock here with 24 seconds. Jackson was going to try to get off one more, Bobby, and she was fouled <laughs> by number 13, Sharon Mills. So she'll come to the line to shoot three. She has 17 points in the game, 13 of those coming here in the second half. First of three is up. <laughs> it's good. 18 points. But, you know, something I've noticed about the Dothan team this year, Bobby, they are more balanced scoring. Yeah. Uh, you know, you look at Jackson tonight. She's put up 18 points. In the game last week against Northview, uh, Cantaloupe had 27 points. So that's 19 for Jackson. And in the game against Carroll, Ward had 21 points. And I think they're going to count it by number 34. Did they give it to her? Uh, they didn't. They didn't say that. They didn't say no. they count it. No, they did. No, they didn't. So we will uh, kind of uh, wrap up scoring here for you. Uh, first of all, for the two and six you fall the Tigers they fall by uh, a score of what <laughs> they've already cleared off the clock it was a uh, 58 to, to 28 Bobby 58 28 I believe okay <laughs> unofficially Boy, so they, we'll, they, we'll give you they, they wiped the clock off pretty fast yeah they're getting they're ready to get started with this next game for the for the guys so uh, <clears throat> Alkia Carter had two points destiny white finished with four uh, Bri Briera Cruz finished with three. Sharon Mills had four. Raven Brown, seven points. Uh, Holloway with two. Burden with four points to round out the scoring for uh, the Eufaula Tigers. Okay, uh, for the Dothan Tigers, uh, Bobby, the leading scorer tonight was uh, Dorothea Jackson. She had a big night, especially in the second half, putting up 15 second half points and um, she winds up with 19 points in the game. Uh, Whitney McLeod had uh, a total of four points. Brittany Walker two. Maya Williams with four. Jasmine Cruz eight. Four coming from uh, Jasmine uh, Cantaloupe. Uh, eight, uh, six points coming from Carmela Kirkland and Charmaine Ward has seven in the first half, and she put up uh, four in the second half for a total of 11 points. 
So that uh, rounds out the scoring for a, a, a pretty good uh, girls game, especially since uh, both teams got started off uh, so slow in the first period of play. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, you fall and let it by a score of six to nothing. And then the Dothan Lady Tigers ran off nine points right quick to uh, really take charge of the thing and never look back. Yes, you're exactly right, Bobby. So the Lady Tigers of Dothan win to make them eight and O. Oh. So that's going to wrap it up from uh, the Dothan High School Gymnasium tonight as uh, we get set for the Dothan uh, guys game. Bobby Price, Mitt Kirkland, and our cameraman Art Variel saying we'll see you soon on the local origination channel. All right. I got to go down there.